Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to format cells um, according to what they contain. Um, and it's actually a really, really useful tool. Um, teachers normally use it all the time. I know I definitely do. Um, and that's why I've decided to show you some student data um, to demonstrate this skill. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can use conditional formatting. And this is the option here. It's on the home tab, so it's quite easy to find. Um, and I'm firstly going to show you how to format uh, numerical values. So here I've got some students. I've got, this is their most recent assessment, say, and I've got their percentage followed by their grade. Now, I can quite easily use conditional formatting. So if I highlight their percentages and go to conditional formatting, you've got various options available to you. And I'll just explain all of these in um, as I go. So um, you've got these two at the top, which I'll explain a little bit later. These ones here, so we've got data bars, color scales, and icon sets, are really useful because um, Excel's already set up um, some predefined ways for you to format cells according to the data so in this percentage here if i just use the icon sets for example and i select um the flags okay if we have a look now at my data so those students with a green flag are in the top uh, uh in the top group of students the ones in yellow are in the average or middle um, in terms of the data that's here, and the ones in red are in the bottom. Uh, they've achieved the, the lowest. So it's Excel allows you to, it does a calculation based on the data that's provided, and then it will automatically assign an icon according to the percentage that's there. So it's really, really useful. Um, the other option you have, so I'll just undo that with icon set. So as you could see from what I showed you before, there's various icons you can use. Okay, so you, I'm not sure how this is going to be worded in a question because it's never come up before. Um, I'm just showing you this because it is part of the syllabus or it's on the, it's on the syllabus, whether it will be in there, obviously, I don't know that. Okay, so you've got various icon sets in here. So something like a traffic light is something we commonly use um, to show which students are doing well. Um, uh, kind of achieving what you want them to achieve or not so again it's exactly the same okay so you've got your your traffic light uh, next to each student's percentage to determine how well they're doing then you also have um, color scales which is very similar um, but it will basically color in the cell so there are some predefined um, sets of colors in here um, that you can use. Normally I use the first one because um, I do like to use green for those students that are uh, doing well and then uh, orange or yellow for those people that need to work a bit harder and red for those that are not doing so well. So that's that one. Then we also have data bars, which is, is useful because it's like a graphical way. They're all graphical, but you'll see when I apply it. Okay, so let's choose one that stands out. So with this, you can actually quite clearly see who's achieving. Yeah, so according to the percentage, this person's got 86%, which is one of the highest. And so their bar is closer to the end here. Obviously, this person here with 48%, their bar is very short. So it almost shows it in a graphical format without you having to create a graph, which is really useful. Um, so that's that. The other thing I want to show you are these ones here. So we've got highlight cells rules. And then you can, again, you can format cells that are greater than a particular value, less than a particular value between a value, the same as a value or you can format text that contains so for my grades i would use text that contains and then i can format and um, apply a format for all those students that got an a grade or maybe we've got uh, the lowest grade in the class the dates um, can be used for spreadsheets that contain maybe uh, orders um, for a retail store so maybe they would format the dates according to different months so you can use that for that and also for values that are repeated you can use the duplicate value option so normally i might use um the greater than or less than so if i select greater than um obviously you can change this according to uh what you're what you're trying to show uh so you can just change that value and what it does is it gives you a predefined formatting so you can change that according to how you want the cell to look 
if you're not happy with any of these you just go to custom format and you can then um, format these cells exactly as you would like so I might decide I want them to have a green uh, fill in the background a bright green fill in the background obviously then I can just go ahead and change this so all those that have got above 80% which was uh, yes yeah, so then I can highlight those in green similarly obviously um, so if I cancel that I could do the same with the less than option um, so I can fill uh, these so maybe if I wanted to do those I've got less than 50 um, I can highlight those and again use custom if I want to or format them however I like so that's that the other thing I want to show you is top and bottom which is also really useful so you can highlight the top 10 students so again Excel will create this calculation you don't have to work it out and it will automatically highlight the top 10 students and you can again custom format that as you want uh, okay so there's my top achieving students in that class the other thing I can do is put in the top 10 percent the bottom 10 or the bottom 10 percent also what's useful is above average and below average which is is good um, for like with stu uh, parents for example they want to know that kind of thing so it's easy to show that so I can highlight all those that are working below the average for this particular class set of grades, um, which is useful. So it takes a lot of um, time and effort out of doing that. The other thing I want to show you is um, with grades, so conditional form, and you can do the same thing here. So I can highlight less than um, a D. So if I highlight all those, in fact, no less than a C. Okay. And so I've got all those students that got an A or a B, that got less than a C, and I can again format that as I would like, or I can use the predefined options. Uh, so it works in exactly the same way. You can actually do this with te text that contains also. So if I want to only show those students that got a C, I can, or whatever grade, yeah, so I could change it to a D, and it will then automatically format those. Um, the other thing I can show you is new rule, which is the same as the others. These five options here, Excel's made your life a bit easier by giving you the predefined um, options, but you can use new rule and you can just go ahead and customize. So you can format cells based on their values and this will give you those between particular values. I normally use this for cells that contain, which is the same as the option I just showed you before, but it just allows you um, to do it on your own so specific text containing so let's say containing an A and then I can format that um, with green okay so that will just do that obviously it's much quicker to use these options here because they pretty much do the same thing if you make a mistake obviously you can just control Z and um, to undo or you can press the undo arrow here or if you've already done this and saved it, you can clear rules. So you can clear rules from selected cells. So if I select this cell and I go to clear rules from selected cells, it will clear the rule from that cell only and keep it in the others. Or I can clear rules from the entire sheet and that will re reset the spreadsheet back to its original form and remove any formatting rules. That's really it for conditional formatting.